Okay, so let's prove a lemma about the p-adic logarithm. So I'm going to drop that subscript, uh, that cp scrub subscript. So, but uh, let a be an element of cp. Um, then the the norm of uh, one plus a. Let's say with. Um, uh, Ord P A uh, greater than uh, one. Okay. So the the p-adic logarithm of this thing is less than uh, C P. So some constant that depends on P. Ord P of A. All right. So here where where C P. is um, uh, this uh, here. So this is um, uh, ln, or so ln's a natural logarithm. This thing here, I, by this I just mean 2.718281, blah, 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 blah. So I'm, I'm, I'm not writing E because I'm saving that for the ramification. Okay. All right, so uh, it's the p-adic logarithm. Okay, so let's let's do a proof of this. So proof. So we're going to use the non-Archimedean property of the the, the p-adic norm. And the proof of this is uh, is pretty easy. So here, uh, log. We'll just we'll estimate this one 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 minus a. This will be the same size. Uh, so this is uh, uh, n bigger than or equal to one. A n over n, okay, and so uh, this is um, so what we, we want to do is we want to uh, maximize this, so this is less than or equal to the maximum of these by the non-Archimedean property, and so this uh, so this so the maximum oh. Oh. So the maximum of uh, this a so sorry this is max of uh, here. Uh, so this corresponds to the minimum valuation uh, ord p a n over n, and we can just compute that uh, directly. Right, so we'll we'll get that uh, uh, the the p-adic valuation of uh, a to the n over n. Uh, so this is equal to uh, n or p of a minus or p of n. All right, and so I'm just going to replace this by a logarithm. Uh, let's let's do it like this. Uh, okay, so here, this is log base p. So this isn't a p-adic logarithm now. This is just a usual logarithm, log base p of n. Uh, okay, and so what we'll do is we're going to minimize, so we, we will minimize this function. We'll minimize, we'll just use calculus. A function of x. Okay, and so, uh, so, we, so we minimize... this function f of x which is equal to x or p of a minus log p of x okay so so if you do the computation so what do we get so this gives a, a global minimum so you do like the second derivative test right um, at uh, x naught which is um, 1 over uh, ord p of a uh, ln of p. Okay, so we, we plug in. Right, so once we plug this in, uh, we get that f of x naught, so this is 1 over ord p a 
natural log of p uh, here, ord p of a, minus log p of, and now we plug it in again, 1 over ord p of a, natural log of p, like so. Uh, these things go away, and so then you get um, uh, 1 over natural log of p minus uh, log p of, uh, or I guess we do plus log p of uh, ord p of a natural log of p. All right, and then um, and then we we we're, what we're going to do is we take p to this because that's how we compute the norm. So then we have uh, p p to the f of x naught. All right, and uh, uh, so uh, I guess p to the minus f of x naught, and so this is uh, p to the minus one over the natural log of p. Uh, uh, so then we have, uh, uh, I guess, minus log p, or p, so I'm just going to flip this again, so it's maybe not so smart to do it again, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so this is, um, and so this is equal to uh, uh, 1 over ord p of a, natural log of p, uh, and then we have p to the minus 1 over natural log of p. All right, and then you, we just, this, this, this thing will just become 1 over e, right? So p, let me just do that real quick, uh, p to the uh, minus 1 over natural log of p, well this is just e to the ln of p minus 1 over the natural log of p, right? And so that's just e to the minus 1. Okay, and so that proves the result. That proves this bound here. Uh, this this bound that we were talking about. All right, and this in turn uh, gives us uh, this this green bound that we were that we were looking that we were looking for. This green bound here. Okay, so let me just write that down. All right, so the, the application so if um, uh, if if k over q qp is finite is a finite extension with e of k over qp uh, its ramification index then uh, log of OK cross so this is contained in well it's going to be contained in the field K so this is the disk in K of 0 and then we have E K over QP uh, LNP uh, exp one. Okay, so there's a bound, and the bound is based on the ramification. Um, uh, so the the idea here, so the 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 idea is again that log of OK cross. So this is the same thing as uh, log of 1 plus pi OK cross, where pi is the uniformizer, and uh, and pi, or OK, not OK cross, 1 plus pi OK, and pi, um, uh, pi, so this is 1 over E K over Q P. So when we plug that into the formula uh, here, Right, so we'll we'll have this constant. This is stuff in the denominator, really, and then uh, this thing goes to the numerator. Okay, that's that's all there is to this.
So in uh, in regards to Machizuki's band, so in uh, so let me just remind us that uh, in IUT four uh, proposition one point two, um, the bound that Machi Machizuki uses, so Machizuki's bound. Uh, the bound, uh, which he gives the bound, uh, log, okay, cross, so this is contained in p to the minus b of okay, where um, uh, b, uh, b is, is the following, so it's equal to, um, okay, so I'm going to write this down, so natural log, of P, and then we have E K over Q P over P minus one. This thing divided by the natural log of P, um, and then uh, minus one over E. Okay, so they're both kind of like, so both bounds are, are like logs in the, um, uh, they're really both like uh, uh, the, they they both go as the ramification index really. That's the uh, idea, I guess. So I, I just want to mention uh, one situation where this bound is is stupid. Um, so our bound, so uh, a case where uh, we don't want to use this bound. Uh, the uh, our bound, and it's the obvious case. Uh, the obvious case, meaning that, um, is the case where we know exactly what the image of the log is. So uh, when um, uh, when the radius, uh, so we know that that okay. So so when this thing is less than that magic radius, p to the minus one over p minus one, uh, then exponent log. Uh, and log are inverses, uh, and uh, we have that uh, log of OK cross, so this will just be pi of OK, and this is, is uh, uh, equal to uh, DK, so the, the disk centered at zero of the absolute value of pi here. Okay, so again these are Piatic absolute values, and uh, and so what's what's this thing? So so uh, the absolute value of pi here, uh, here. Uh, well, we already we already had that, so we 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 can, you know, we know exactly what uh, this this absolute value of pi is. Um, uh, on the other hand, right? Uh, uh, so this thing, uh, this is. Yeah, let me just say what this is. This is p to the minus one over e. Uh, uh, and then on our bound in the in this situation, right? So we have that log of OK cross. This is contained in DK uh, zero, and then we had the ramification degree, natural log of P, exponential of one, like so. Okay, and so um, uh, this condition here. Let me also say that this condition here can be more written more succinct, succinctly as saying that um, uh, yeah e is less than p minus one. Okay, that's that's equivalent to this. So this is a nice way of putting it. Um, if we combine this and this bound, right? So we combine these two things, right? It gives us that uh, it gives us a bound uh, like so. Natural log of p x one. Okay, this is the bound. Uh, this thing uh, is so approaches infinity as uh, p approaches infinity. Uh, so our bound is this is not good, right? This thing, uh, this thing is always less than or equal to one for all p. Right. So this one's uniformly bounded, and this one's not uniformly bounded, and so. In the situations where e is less than p minus one, this is this is clearly a, a better thing to do.
All right, that's all that's all I want to say about this.